Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to interface the L298N motor driver with an Arduino board. So, well, first, let's draw a schematic to see how it actually works. Okay, um, you're going to have to give it power. So, this is pin 9 goes to 5 volts, and pin 8 goes to ground. Also, you're going to have to um, use some sort of external power to give uh, give power to the motors because if you try powering it off your USB bus, you'll probably end up blowing something up. So use something like this, just a regular AA battery pack. So that goes to pin 4. So that in this case, that's uh, 6 volts. And um, yeah, you have uh, four inputs as well. In one, two, three, and four. Um, in one and in two, control motor A. While uh, in three and four, control motor B. And you have um, two enable pins as well. So that's enable A and enable B. Uh, and then, of course, you have your um, motor output. So you have out one, you have out two, out three, and out four. So we're just going to use uh, one motor in this case. So we'll use motor A. This controls motor B. Yep. You also have two other pins, um, pin one and uh, fifteen. Those are those are current sense pins and. Uh, yeah, you can use it to uh, measure how much current the motor is drawing, but uh, just to get it to work, uh, we'll tie them to ground for now. So, CSA, current sense A, and current sense B, to GMD, ground. Also, um, to display um, what speed we're running the motor at, because we're going to use uh, pulse width modulation to control the speed, um, to display that you're going to need uh, a regular 16 by 2 alphanumeric LCD. Uh, one of these costs like three dollars off eBay, so they're pretty cheap. You can also use a, a smaller one like this, but um, you need to make sure the pins are all in one row, like that, because otherwise you can't stick it in the breadboard. You'll get shorts between the pairs of pins. So yep, yeah, let's pull the breadboard out and see how it works. When you take your um, L298 out, you'll notice that the pins don't uh, fit directly into the breadboard. You're going to have to uh, bend them slightly so they will fit. Uh, I've already done this on another one. And the long leads are actually quite flexible, so it's not, not too hard. So we'll just plug that in. Yep, there. And um, you'll notice that yeah, the pins are kind of at an angle to each other. So I'm going to wire the thing up, and uh, yeah, all the connections you need to make uh, make are here. So, yep, let's fast forward this. Here's the code I've uh, written for the motor driver. At the top, I've included the LCD library because we want to add that functionality to our project. And um, yeah, here we've uh, defined the pins and uh, in the setup made them all output and started the LCD and put a little message at the top. In the loop, um, I've written in one as high and in two as low. Now, now that sets the direction for the motor. If it was reverse, if in one was low and in two was high, then the motor would turn the other way. If they were both high and or both low, uh, the motor wouldn't move at all. And to add a kind of uh, speed that speed control to the motor that increments slowly, uh, I've included a for loop. And in that, uh, you just a uh, simple analog uh, write command to the enable pin pulses it high at uh, increasing duty cycles. And um, I've just mapped that value to, to a percent value and uh, printed that as well on the screen. Here we've just um, made it 
uh, stay at full speed for three seconds. So you can actually see what it looks like. And uh, here, the direction is being reversed. In one is now low, and in two is high. And the same thing happens here. So uh, let's do a make and program and see what happens. Okay, so uploading, and yep, let's see what happens. Okay, so when we add power to the to the whole system, let's see what happens. Yep, as you can see, let's zoom in a bit. It's incrementing and starts to spin at about uh, thirty percent, and it's slowly speeding up uh, just as expected. It's pretty good. And let's see if it goes backwards as well. Yep, it's doing just what we thought it would, going uh, the other way, so again it starts at about 30%, it takes about 30% to get enough uh, torque to actually start moving. Uh, one thing about the LCD though, is that sometimes uh, if you don't adjust the contrast, and it's like set all the way to zero, wait, let's just, huh. yeah, so the contrast set all the way to zero, it looks like the display is actually broken. Uh, don't go throwing it out and buy another one. Just like, actually, move the move the knob to see if that works. And uh, yeah, another thing as well is that if we disconnect the current sense pins from ground, uh, you'll notice uh, that the whole um, the whole motor doesn't work at all. Uh, a lot of motor drivers don't have this current sense feature, so it actually took me a while to figure out what was wrong, why nothing was happening. Uh, so yeah, you just connect it to ground, which happens to be the the big metal tab as well, I just realized. And there you have it. That's how you use uh, an L298 motor driver with an Arduino.